Welcome to McKenzie Creations. In this video, we are going to make a card using the Diamond Press Ginger Bear House. And so I'm just going to open up the instructions and I'll flip it over to the back just so we can see what the Ginger Bear House looks like. And I wanted to make my card just like this. It's so cute, but I cannot find my craft paper. So what I'm gonna have to do is stamp and then color in the house. So that'll take extra time, but I'm gonna go that route. So let me grab some papers and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And before we get started, I did do a craft haul. If you wanted to see all the elements of this set, So we're going to go ahead and get started with the instructions. And step one says to stamp gingerbread on cardstock. So I'm just going to grab a piece of paper right here. And then I'll just get this cut down so to fit in my stamp platform. Okay, let me take this stamp off from another project I worked on. Okay, so I'm gonna get my gingerbread house. I'm gonna cut this down a little bit more. Okay, so I'm gonna get my magnets on here. And then I grab this um, Spectrum Noir Quick Dry Ink. So I'm going to use this. And I hope it still works. I didn't have this for a couple years. We'll see. Okay, so I'm just going to get this pressed on here. Okay, I'm going to need to do this again because it's missing some spots here. Okay, it's still missing the bottom, so I think my magnets are in the way because usually when that happens, that's the case. So I'm going to be very careful and try to move my magnets at the top because I don't want my paper to shift. So we'll try this one last time. Okay, so I have this stamped down, and I think this is going to be good enough. So I'm going to take a few minutes to get my stamp cleaned off in my platform, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back, and I have my gingerbread house stamped down. And so next is telling us to actually take the die and cut the house out. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab the die off of here. And let's see, it's always sharp side down. And so I'm just gonna line this up. And I actually need to grab some tape. Okay, so you definitely wanna tape this down so it won't shift around when you run it through your die cutting machine. And 
And I'm gonna put one more piece of tape on just to make sure it doesn't shift around. Okay, and I think I'm gonna need to cut this down just a little bit so it'll go through my diamond press Marquise machine. Okay, let's see if this will work. This is a nice size die and you wanna be able to fit it in this folder right here. So I think we're gonna be okay. So I'm gonna get my Marquise machine right here and we're just gonna run this through. Oh wow, it fell right out. So I'll just hold it up. So the instruction says to place the teal acetate stamping guide on top of an A2 size card. So I'm gonna actually use this as my card base. So this is already pre-cut and pre-scored. And then I'm just gonna cut a layer out with this blue paper and I'm gonna cut this down a little bit um, smaller than my A2 size card and then I'll trace on this. So I'm gonna get this cut down and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I have my layer cut down. And so with this guy, you wanna make sure it's going the same direction as your gingerbread house. So it'll look like this. So make sure that um, when you place your guide down on your paper to trace, that you place it down that way. And so I actually, need to grab a pencil. Okay, so I do not have a pencil, I just have an ink pen. So I'm gonna try to trace lightly. And it shouldn't matter too bad, I'm hoping. I'm just gonna try to trace real light with the ink pen. And make sure you hold it down correctly. <laughs> I moved it already. And this is just going to be used so you can stamp your gingerbread man or whatever you want inside of the house. It's just helping you with the placement. So I have one more window to go. Okay, so I am done. So I'm just gonna lift this up. And so once I traced it, it looks like this. And next we are going to stamp the desire stamps inside the four windows and door. And it does say erase the pencil outlines and color in the stamps, but I am not gonna be able to do that because I have an ink pen. Okay, I am back and I placed some little stamps on my um, guide here and so I have a little Christmas tree right here a gingerbread man in the doorway and then the window and then the window at the top I have a little dog so I'm gonna get my stamp platform I'm gonna bring this back over here and try to carefully lift this up here
Okay, so we're just going to get this stamp down. Pick up my stamps right here. Okay. And then I'm just going to use my quick dry ink like I used before for the gingerbread house. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this like this. My paper shifted just a little bit, so I don't wanna keep messing with it. So it stamped like this. So I'm actually just gonna clean this up, and then we're gonna have to stamp some eyes onto the gingerbread people. So I'm just gonna clean this up because it's a mess right now with all this ink. And I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I just put a little face on the um, gingerbread man and the little buttons on here. And so I'm going to stamp this down. So with this said, it is quite a bit of stamping that you have to do. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold this up. So we have the little face stamped on the gingerbread man. And so our instructions is telling us next to color in the gingerbread man or anything that you placed in the doorway in the windows. So I'm gonna do that. And then it tells you to take the gingerbread house and glue it down. And then it says to color on the back but I'm going to reverse it a little bit. I'm going to actually color my gingerbread man here. Everything on here I'm going to color. And then I'm also going to color my gingerbread house before I glue it down. So um, you can follow the instructions the way you want, but I'm just going to do it this way. I'm going to color my house before I glue it down. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Okay, I am back and it took me a few moments to get everything colored in. So I colored in my gingerbread man, my little dog and tree right here. And then for the gingerbread house, I colored this in. So I just did the best I could. I'm not great at coloring. And then I just used the example on the instructions to color my gingerbread house in. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this layer glued down. Okay, so I think this is good. I use the Crafters Companion Kaleo glue because it gives you time to maneuver your layer around so you can get it as straight as possible. And then next, I'm gonna get the gingerbread house glued down. Now you wanna be careful, so I'm just gonna get my guide back. because you want to make sure that you line this up right. So when you open up your little doors and window, you want to be able to see the little dog or the little um, gingerbread I have behind here. So um, let me just open these up a little bit so I can actually see. Okay. So I'm gonna use Kaleo glue again with this. I normally, when I do my sentiments or anything, I 
I use the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue, but this sticks right away, so I'm going to use the Kaleo glue because with this, you may need to need a little time to adjust it. And when you're gluing, make sure you don't get the doors or the windows because you want those to open, so you don't want to glue those. Okay. So let's see if I can get this on here correctly. I'm just kind of holding my little door open. And I think that's going to be good right here. And you can just peek through and just make sure it's how you like it. Yep. So you can see everything. Now, the only thing I wish I had used a pencil so I could have erased my little trace lines. But um, I'm not going to really worry too much about that. So I'm just gonna press this down. And so this is where we're at so far. So I'm gonna continue to stamp the little um, decorations and then I'm gonna cut them out. Like these are the little Christmas candies and then I'll cut out some more gingerbread men and whatever I think I want to have on my card. I'll probably just use this as a guide as well. So I'll just get everything stamped out on a piece of white paper, color them in, cut them, and then I'll go ahead and get everything glued down and I'll be back with a final look at the card. Okay, I am back with the final look of the card. So I stamped and colored all of the little decorations on here. And then I glued everything down. Now, I should have added a sentiment before I glued everything down. So I was really scared to add a sentiment on here. And plus the card is an A2 size card. And it's so much going on with this house that I probably, if I were to do this again, I would use a 5x7 card just so it'll be more space on here. So I think it's pretty full. So you can always add a sentiment and a verse in the inside of the card. And also I like how the windows and then the little door open up. And so you can open up and see the little gingerbread man. And I have the little Christmas tree behind this window. This window over here, I have another little gingerbread man peeking through. And then at the top, I have a little dog. So I love how the little flaps open up so you can see your decorative items in the inside. So I think this came out really nice. I enjoyed working with this set. It is a lot of stamp and coloring. You could use um, your scrap pieces of paper, like you can use a brown piece of paper for the house, and then your different little scrap papers, but you do have to stamp to get the detail in here. But um, I think this is a cute set. And then I also added some rhinestones on here. I think this card came out very nice. Take care and see you in the next video.